everyone, this is Jason Long with Support My Website. And today we're gonna take a look at how to find your password for your WordPress login page. And that is specifically if you have lost or forgotten your password. So let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna start off with the Support My Website webpage and we're gonna navigate over to the WordPress admin login page. So if you don't know how to do this, you can take a look at our previous video and it'll walk you through the entire process. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to wp-admin. So that's yourwebsite.com forward slash wp-admin. And that's gonna take me to the login page. So here we've got that you can enter your username or email address and your password and then log in. And this is where so many people get confused. They get to this page and they can't figure out what to do next if they can't remember their password. But what they're missing is so simple. There's just this lost your password link right here. So when you click on this link, it's gonna take you over to this page where it asks you to enter your username or, e username or email address to get a new password. And when you enter your email address in here, it'll send you an email and it'll take you to this page and it'll just take you right back and say, hey, uh, sorry, this page, hey, your uh, a confirmation link has been sent. Please enter the email address and password. And that email that was sent will just allow you to reset your password. So a lot of times what you have to do is go to your spam box because these WordPress, uh, these WordPress emails very often go to spam. So this is my Gmail account. I went straight into the spam area and there's WordPress right above J Crew. Let's take a look. And there it is. Someone's reset the password. There's my username. And I'm just gonna click on this link to take me to the reset. So here it is. It just reset my password or it would reset my password to this, which I'm not gonna reset. I would click reset password and it would take me right back here where I could enter my username or email address and the new password that I just saved, which was this one right here, this new password. So what you can do is you could either save this and just keep that as your password, or you could then log in and change your password. Either which way, there's your new password and that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions, if you have any issues, please feel free to give us a call or shoot, uh, post a message down below. And thank you so much. If you have anything else, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.